Skip it up and that up. Fucking loser faggot. This is going to be my final video making a very clear statement to the Intellivision Amico community and the CEO of Intellivision, Tommy Tellerico. Let's get into it. Skip it up and that up. All right, first off, ladies and gentlemen, you'll see a pinned comment below and in the top part of the description, you'll see a link. That is to my secondary streaming channel. Since streaming has become a permanent part of Review Tech USA, I have been told by people uh, who I trust that it is in my best interest to make streaming go to a secondary channel. And so I did just that. Going to be the same streams like you see here, just on a second channel. Uh, my editor is hard at work setting up the second channel, setting up memberships, and making sure the channel is ready to go. So in the next few days, I will be streaming there all the time, just like I was streaming here. So if you enjoy my streams, click the link, subscribe below, and I'll see you there real soon. So anyway, back on topic here. Um, yesterday, I made a video and really only had like 2% to do with in television, uh, the Amico and Tommy, but it's called, this needs to be said because I'm sick of it, where I'll summarize it in a sentence. I feel like a lot of people, not just in the gaming community, but on YouTube in general, are afraid to give honest opinions because they rather be in someone's good graces than speak the truth. I'm not saying that my opinions are always right. I will be the first to tell you that many of my opinions have been wrong, but I shoot straight from the hip. I tell how I feel, at least at that moment. And I could at least say that I feel like I'm being genuine. Uh, it's not that I have any issue against sponsorships or having business relations with anybody, but I just feel like the gaming and tech community, especially on YouTube, is really just giving people in the industry just softball reviews mostly there's exceptions that I mentioned yesterday and softball interviews because they rather be in the club than actually in my opinion do their job and do what they're supposed to do that wasn't just about what's going on with the amico that was like one percent of it if not I said two before I'll knock it down to one percent that's just, I just wanted to make a video about that even before whatever happened uh with me and, and the Intellivision and, and giving my take on it so um, I still think Tommy is a very good person. I think he's a nice person. Um, I consider him a friend. I have talked to him countless times, even outside of doing YouTube interviews. He is not a bad guy in any way, shape or form, but that does not mean that I'm not going to give a very strong opinion on how I feel. That is part of what I've always done. That is what has made this channel grown and I'm sure heard it as well. <laughs> Um, and that's always what I'm going to do. And look, here is the thing about the games that they show. There are a couple of them that look really damn good, but most of them look like flash game crap. I'm not going to change my opinion on that. I, I, I do not like what I see. And if it was, like I said in my previous video, on any other platform, people would be ripping those games to shreds. I don't understand why when you have an opinion on the Amico, those same people get very defensive. I watched my whole video again yesterday. I never insinuated that there was money being handed under the table, but I did insinuate that people were looking desperately to be in the Intellivision corporations or in Tommy's good graces. You're damn right. There is no way a grown man, in my opinion, Hey, if you're excited for it and you're genuinely excited for it, fine. But there's no way a grown man could be that enthused and his jaw should drop to the floor over a game like Finnegan Fox, which is a remake of another game that actually looked better with the pixel art, and his jaw should drop to the floor. Even if you're a big platforming guy, like, look, I'm a grown man child. I'm about to be 40 years old. I'll buy every Mario game day one, okay? Still love platformers. But there's no way you could look at that game and say your jaw dropped to the floor. It looks like a bad flash game. If you if that that's just how I feel. Look, maybe it did, but I think the games look like crap. I'm not going to hide that I feel that they look like crap, and I'm a, I'm entitled to my opinion. It's that simple. And again, and I wouldn't do that. I didn't personally attack anybody. 
I, yeah, I, I, I laughed at their reactions and how ridiculous they seemed on live stream. But you're damn right. I'm entitled to do that. I'm allowed to do that. That's freedom of speech. But I'm also allowed to say that his take seemed very saccharine and it didn't seem authentic. It didn't seem like how he was was reacting should have been a reflection of what was being shown on screen. There's just no way. It looks like a flash game from when I was still a senior in high school that you could play in a Pentium 2. And it's not just about the graphics. I'm not talking about the graphics. I know the Amico is not about the graphics, but just the animations. There's Go look at Mega Man X for the Super Nintendo and compare the animations on that console compared to the animations on Finnegan Fox. The animations on a console that came out in 1991 on a game for that console look vastly superior than what I saw on Finnegan Fox. I, I don't know how much better I could bring the point home than that, but if you're excited for it and genuinely excited for it, awesome, awesome. I, I don't really know what else to say. And look, Tommy, like I've said to you before, I'm keeping an open mind. I went from being more positive about the Amico, but now that we're in the 11th hour and I'm seeing the non-existent breadth of software <laughs> that you have for it, again, there's a couple games that do look pretty badass, but the rest of them look pretty bad. I'm going to be honest about this, Tommy. But like I said, at the same time, I'm still keeping an open mind. I have my pre-order. If we could link up within the next two weeks and you're somewhat local to me, I'll go try it out. And I will be objective. Like I said to you in a voice message and like I, I said in now probably my third YouTube video and my final YouTube video on this, I don't win either way with this console. If I say I love it, people are going to think that I'm a shill for saying I love it. If I say I hate it, the community is going to think that I'm a hater for saying that I hate it. So either way, I have nothing to lose except to be brutally honest. I don't win either way, so that's what I'm going to do. I have never, ever wanted a product to fail. I never have wanted a product to fail. But there is this new frightening thing that's bubbling up on YouTube that where if you have an opinion that's negative whether it be justifiably so or not, even if it isn't just a, like I, if I thought Ratchet and Clank, which I don't think this, but if I thought Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart didn't look good, that's my opinion. Am I attacking Sony for that? Am I, am I attacking Insomniac Games for that? No, that's my opinion. I'm allowed to have it. But now I I'm literally seeing people tweeting at me these videos making it like I I'm attacking Tommy and, and the Amico and I'm not attacking you. You don't like my opinion. You think it's going to be the best console ever. You think it should be. You, you think it's a value for $250 and you think that Tommy could charge $350 and it would still be a great deal. Great. You think that I don't, but do not say that I'm attacking anybody because I have a negative opinion on a product that I think is very justifiable to have because what they're showcasing with it mostly is subpar. That's where we're going here, that if you don't have the, if you don't think the same way as an entire group of people, you're attacking and you should, and you should be ousted from it. That's where we're going, where a differing opinion is an attack. And it's not just in the gaming community. It's in all community, whether it be politics, whether it be gaming, whether it be tech, whether it be you, the ASMR community, the T, whatever, it's all like. If you don't agree with me, we're going to attack you because you're wrong because you don't have the same opinion. That's where we're going. What? That's not what YouTube, that's not what YouTube is about. You want to just have uh, opinions that other people give you to have. Go work for QVC. Go work for CVN. Or go get hired by one of the corporations that run a YouTube channel that just hire you to be a yes man. That's fine. Go right ahead and do it. But this is YouTube. I built my living on giving honest opinions, but I'll be damned if I'm going to stop giving my honest opinions because people are mad that they don't like them, whether it be I see a gameplay trailer, play a game and don't like it, play a console and don't like it, try a phone and love it or dislike it. I'm still 
doing the review on that phone. I can't give a final opinion on it yet. W what's the point then? If I'm just going to be a yes person for said corporation, which I never said that people were being paid off. It just seems like they were shills. But the bottom line is if, if people are going to be mad because my opinion is different than theirs and don't want me to give that opinion, what's the hell's the point of even doing this then? Not every opinion is going to be popular. Not every opinion you want. There's plenty of people in tech and politics and current events that will just grift to you and tell you what you want to hear. Go find those channels and have fun. If you're excited for the system, great. I'm not knocking you for if you're genuinely excited for the Intellivision Amico and you think it's going to be a fantastic product. That is great. I, I, I'm happy for you. It, it, it's I don't. I don't want to see a product fail. I don't want to see anybody be miserable with their investment. I don't want to see anybody be unhappy. I don't get any joy in that. But I have to call it like it is. I have to tell it like it is. And that is what I saw. So I'm going to say how I truly feel. And to Tommy and to other people that are asking for an apology, there's nothing to apologize about. If I apologize for having a differing opinion than anybody else, then I shouldn't have a YouTube channel and YouTube shouldn't exist. You don't like my opinion. That's fine. You don't have to like my opinion. I don't have to like your opinion, but I'm going to state my opinion and not feel like I owe anybody because I don't have the same opinion as them. This is YouTube. You put out game trailers for people to give opinions and to try to entice people to buy the console. And if it doesn't entice them and it kind of disappoints them, you're showcasing the product. That's what it's there for, for people to give their takes on it. I'm not going to change the way I am. I'm not going to stop being honest. I'm not going to stop giving real opinions on how I feel. And if that's not what you want, <laughs> if you want people just to bat for your team, this isn't the channel for you. This is Rich of Review Tech USA signing out. Have a good one.